And that's Genesis chapter 1. Mm -hmm. We shall look at Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 to 2. So if you have a notebook, please, Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 to 2. And I will read. And I'm reading from the uh, Good News Bible. Yeah. It says, In the beginning, God created the universe. The earth was formless and desolate. In the beginning, there was no shape. The, uh, the world has no shape. There was nothing. It was empty. Mm -hmm. And God decided that he would create heaven. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're told in the Bible. So heaven is a place created by God. Yeah. It's a place created mm -hmm. by God. And before he created it, we learn that there was nothing in it. Mm -hmm. It was formless, it was desolate, there was no ship. Yeah. Nothing was in ship at all. The next uh, th point we have here is that heaven is everlasting. Mm -hmm. Heaven is everlasting, right? In other words, we have heaven and heaven does not end. Heaven does not end at all. That is why we say in the scriptures, world without end. end. Yeah. World without end. Mm -hmm. And we, our reference is 89, Psalm 89, verse 20. Mm -hmm. Psalm 89 and verse 20. And it says, I have made my servant David king by anointing him with <coughs> holy oil. My strength will always be with him. My power will make him strong. So, it, in fact, it's verses 20 to 21. Mm -hmm. Heaven is everlasting. Heaven has no end. And so when we uh, uh, say world without end, that is what we mean. Mm. We, mean we don't mean that this world our, of ours will not end. Mm. Of course, this world will end. Yeah. Because Jesus says, even if this earth passes away, mm -hmm which follows that Jesus knows that this earth will pass, pass away. away. Yeah. But we also say in the scriptures, mm. world without, without end. end. The world that is without end is heaven. Mm. The world that is without end is heaven. Yeah. It has no end. We will never come to the end. Heaven will never, never, never cease to be. Mm -hmm. The world may cease to be, but heaven will never, never cease, cease to, to be. be. Hmm. So when we say glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit and we answer as it was in the beginning, mm. so is now and ever, ever shall be, be. world without end. end. Amen. World without end means we shall get to that heaven hmm. which has no end. Okay. Those who died have gone. Mm -hmm. They will live in heaven. When we also die, we expect that we'll go to heaven mm -hmm. and we, uh, we learn that heaven is a place without end and heaven is a place for all of us. Mm -hmm. The third point I want to make this evening is that heaven is a holy place. Mm -hmm. Heaven is a holy place. And that's Deuteron uh, sorry, Deuteronomy chapter 26 mm -hmm. Deuteronomy chapter 26 verse 15. Deuteronomy 26, 26 15. verse 7. 15, yeah. Yeah, 15. Okay. Look down from your holy place in heaven. Mm -hmm. Look, your holy place in mm -hmm. heaven. Mm -hmm. Look down from your holy place in heaven mm -hmm. and bless your people Israel. Heaven is a holy place. Mm -hmm. Holy, set aside. Yeah. It's not a, a, a place we joke about. It's not a place where we have seen and all the kinds of filth we have. It's a place set aside by God for those who will follow and those who will go there. Okay. And uh, before we end, you'll find out that the scriptures will be telling us mm -hmm. that only holy people mm. will Can go, go to, to heaven. heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only holy people will yeah. go to heaven. Yes. Um, it, since it is such a holy place, we therefore have the right to uh, adjust ourselves. Mm. Um, uh, uh, we, uh, the, the word I, ha I have loved in this country is topato. No. <laughs> topato yourself 
<laughs> before you get to heaven. <laughs> That's right. Make sure that you fix yourself properly. Yes. Because mm. if you don't fix yourself properly, mm -hmm. mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -hmm. it's not for you. Mm -hmm. Since heaven is a prepared place, yes, since heaven is a holy place, indeed. we also must make sure mm -hmm. that we prepare ourselves mm -hmm. to get there. You don't get to a place by without preparing yourself. Mm -hmm. I am here. If I decide to go back to my country, I cannot just go to Yundum and stand mm -hmm. there at the airport and say, Father James Cole, I know you. Father James Cole, I want to go to have, uh, I want to go to Freetown. Mm -hmm. Put me on board a, a plane. That mm -hmm. would be stupid of me. Mm -hmm. I should first of all have had my passport. Mm -hmm. I should first of all have got my ticket. And yes. then if I find problems, then Father James Cole will help me. Yes. But I must prepare myself to go. Amen. And all of us, if we want to go to heaven, mm -hmm. we must prepare, prepare ourselves. ourselves. Indeed. Because that is a holy place. Indeed. Not everybody can go there. Amen. Not everybody is expected to go there. Amen. God wants everybody to go there. Yes. But not everybody yeah. will go there. Okay. Mm. So Father, let me just stop at those yes. three points. Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, from, from, your, from your introduction or from the points you are making, I have picked three very important words. And that is one, heaven, yes, exists. Heaven was created by God Almighty, yeah. and thirdly, because it exists and it was created by God, heaven is holy. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. So therefore, viewers, this is heaven for you. It exists, it was created by God, and it is holy. So now we will move on to the, to, to the next point, and I will ask Reverend uh, Louis to give us some um, explanation about, the, the, about heaven in the next set of um, uh, scripture references. That's a wonderful explanation of how heaven came about and the fact that God took time mm -hmm. to create heaven yeah. and make it relevant for us today. Mm -hmm. um, God, as we all know, is bigger than the whole world put together. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to think of it that God could create a place and call it heaven and say he, re he reigns there can be for our benefit, not actually for him. Mm -hmm. Because if he is bigger than the whole universe, then we cannot actually pinpoint where he lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But scripture here is making us have a focus where we can look for God. Mm -hmm. And that's why God will choose to say, let me be here. So that as limited human beings that you are, you can have a sense of focus mm -hmm. when you want to communicate to me. Mm -hmm. And so this sense of focus, we can see even Jesus helping us understand when he talks about God. Mm -hmm. And this is found in a very famous prayer we always pray about. When the disciples ask Jesus, how do we pray? Mm -hmm. What did Jesus tell them? He taught them the Lord's Prayer. The very beginning of that prayer was so fascinating because mm -hmm. he started with a definite focus. Mm -hmm. A direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was not unsure about it. He was very sure, sure about it. Yeah, yeah. He said, sure one, Our Father Who in heaven. 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 Yes. <laughs> Our Father in heaven. So he knew what he was talking about. Yes. You know, and you remember in other areas, Jesus talked about. It is I who came from the Father mm -hmm. who know what I am talking about. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And so basically, if God has chosen to reveal himself and give us a form of direction and focus, then it is for our benefit. So one great benefit we can understand here, which is good for us, is to know that God exists, like Reverend Janissa said, mm -hmm. that God created heaven, mm -hmm. but above all, that God dwells in heaven. Mm -hmm. Amen. It is God's dwelling place. He has chosen to reveal a dwelling place for himself. Mm -hmm. And like Reverend Janissa said, it's a holy place. It's a holy place, <coughs> and because God is holy, yeah. And you cannot exist in heaven if you are not holy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that takes me to Revelation chapter seven, verse fourteen, mm -hmm. which it says, "These are those who have washed themselves mm -hmm. in the blood of the Lamb, of the the lamb. lamb. Mm. and made them white, made them and white. made them white, white. Mm -hmm. because for John seeing a set of people before the throne of mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. it was fascinating mm -hmm. and." To say that this is where God lives, it's important for us to stress mm -hmm. that it's a holy place. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the relationship between heaven and God? The relationship is that God is the one who is in charge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. 
He is the Lord mm -hmm. of heaven. Mm -hmm. Oh, we remember.